more you can create content that really has an eye-catching element to it, the more likely someone will be to stop scrolling and pay attention to your piece of content. In this case, I have a black and white background and I have myself and my product front and center in full color. You can also have this happen with a video. Here's an example where I have a black and white background of the video and I have myself front and center in full color. Let me show you how to make these in Canva. I'll start with a blank page so you can see what I've done. So I have my blank template here. So whether you go to uploads, if you already have it there, or perhaps you have some folders already saved, wherever you have your image, go ahead and pull that image in in full color, get it to the size that you want, and then before you do anything else, click on these three dots and duplicate the image. Now you have two images of the exact same size. We're gonna take one of these images, we'll go to Edit Image, and go to the Duotone area, and simply scroll down to a black and white image. And now we have one image that's going to be black and white and one image that's going to be color. So we're gonna send the black and white image to the back making sure that you aren't changing any of the sizes. Then on the image that has the color, we're gonna highlight that image and we're going to remove the background. So for this, you would need to have the pro version. If you don't have the pro version of Canva, you will need to have one of these images <clears throat> pulled into remove.bg and then bring it back over into Canva. But once you have this background removed, it will keep um, the primary part of your image you can see it's still in color and there's just no background so now we're just going to slide this so that it fits perfectly over our black and white image and that is how you make the image where the background is black and white and what you have is front and center and you can see that it is far more eye-catching than when we kept it in its own color now when we do this for a video it does work a little differently so let me go down and add a page again. And if you have your video already uploaded, that's perfect. So I'll go over here to Uploads, go to Video, and I'll pull in a video. I'll just show you how I made the other one I just did. So here's the video. Size this again, just like we did before with whatever size you want. There we go. I'll just use it that way. I'm going to duplicate this same process so here i'm going to highlight the first video click on edit video scroll down to grayscale and then on the video that's on top i'll click edit video and i'm going to do remove background again this is a pro version so if you're planning to do video you'll need to make sure you have the pro version so you can see though when i put these two together you can't play them independently. They all need to play at the same time. It's really hard to preview this um, in Canva. So what I would tell you to do, there we go, is we get our two videos together, and then when you're ready, line them up, and then go up here to share it. And when you download it, I'm going to select um, only the last one here. So then when you download it and you play it, that's when you're able to see the video like this. It'll play with both of them together, uh, running on the same uh, timing of the loop. So that's how you make these two grayscale backgrounds where your primary focus can be your product and yourself, and that will help with making something very eye-catching. There you have it. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.